Hello World Dynacone here, back with another video, and today I'll be doing fingers, which a few people have requested, so I'm going to be doing it. Also, if I don't sound very happy right now, it's because I just tried recording this literally 10 seconds ago, and it crashed on me. I'm a little bit mad. <laughs> First thing to add the fingers is you have to actually fix the bends. I'm going to turn this off. Go, nope, sorry, yeah, stay on this keyframe. Go to Edge Selector, Alt, Select. Select, 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 and select. Yeah, like basically hit alt the entire time, dissolve edges, just tab out of it. <coughs> and now, <coughs> so if I just stop randomly, just because I'm dying, just don't mind me dying. <laughs> Turn this back on. X-ray still on, and vertex selector. Come back over to here, and then just hit GX, and then pull this to right here. Nope, I am stupid. This is fine, actually. Go back over to here, select them all. Do this and pull this back to here. Snapping still on. Hit A, go up to here, search up. Hit the, search up wrist, and then just hit remove. And then go to bottom arm dot dart two, and then just select this. I'm pretty sure this is right. What do you know if it's working as if it does this? So this really just really weird wrist. Perfect. Now to fix the bends, because I got it myself. Okay, so first off, you want to get this one, GX, and then pull it till it's straight, which is about here. And you want to pull this, nope, sorry. You want to pull this one to it. Make sure this is off, just in case. And also pull this one to it. And then pull this one to right here. <coughs> and now I've got that part of the bend working correctly. So let's see if this is right. Yep, this seems to be working just fine. And the way to tell is if you go over to here, I rotate it, this one should remain straight, which it does. Now I'm just going to go back over to here, go back to basis, and hit loop cuts, put, make sure it's on three, and then just do it like this, if I can see it. Boom. <clears throat> make sure this is off now. <coughs> go back over to here, select this, select this. So I won't be doing the texture in this video. In this video, I'll just be... <clears throat> Doing the rigging of how to get them to work and the constraints, getting all parents up with the sharp bend, smooth bend, simply once. That's good. And now back onto this part. Pull this out five times one, two, three, four, five, and then just pull it back out to here. Then do the same thing over here, and then just all the way out to here. Now do the same thing up these two. If I can't get them all together, it's because if you do them all together, they actually all join as one object. So there's no. There's a part that you need that won't that won't be there basically. For here, you want to just go one, two, three, four, five, and then there we go. Now it's looking a bit like this, which is good. And now you want to just uh, make sure you have X-ray back on. Turn off simplify anti lag whichever you have on, and then just let me increase this up. Also, I forgot to do this earlier because I forgot to turn back on. You also want to increase these edges just to just to increase them because you need to. Also, sometimes if you don't fix the texture, just <clears throat> go over to here, find wherever the texture is. Can turn this turn this back on because I forgot to, and then just drag this up and scale it down, and that texture will be fine. So now we've got all that working, and you can tell it's working if it does this. It remains straight the entire time. <clears throat> and now for the best part, which is completely unparenting them from everything. <laughs> Why whenever I'm recording, do this when I'm not recording. You want to just completely remove them from everything. So it should look a bit like this. You want to come and select these right here. All these. Then search up the wrist. That's my full wrist. Sorry, I just slumped down on my chair, so I'm just in defeat. <clears throat> That's how that should look. A tab. <coughs> make sure it's not hidden. Now you just want to shift this up to here, make sure you can see it. And then pull this thing. Oh, no, actually, jeez. Right. Pull it to about here. And pull this one to about here. 
pull this one to here, then this one all the way down to here. And then just control P, keep offset. <laughs> It'll be like like looking like that. Now go ahead and delete this constraint before we continue so that it all works just fine. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you want to rename this one to finger one joint one dot r. If it's on this side of your screen from his front view, it's dot r. This side from his front view, it's dot l. It's backwards, cause just because that's how he sees. I'm just gonna copy this name. Paste. If y'all know a faster way to do this. Just go on ahead and do it. Just this is just how I'm doing it. And it's pretty slow, so I'd recommend just <coughs> be careful. Tab, then just hit G and drag them down to here. Do not some more shifty, shifty, shifty. And now we can begin to rename every last one of these. So <coughs> I don't talk very much here, which I'm gonna try not to, because I'm I am actually sick and still recording this, because of course I'm sick the second I get out of school. <sighs> yeah, if I just stop randomly, also, if you just, if you just see me stop randomly because I forgot to cut it out or something like that, that's because I either just got lazy and went from sickness and just didn't want to do it, cut it out, just kept it in, or I just just didn't care and thought it wasn't a big deal to prove for something, I don't know, something stupid like that that I would do. Because I will stop every now and then just to get a drink of my drink to help my throat stop hurting. Which I'm about to have to do my first one right here after saying this. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> oh, and I also don't want to see any like, oh, I feel bad for you being sick in the comments. I actually don't like that. I just don't like that. <laughs> so please don't do that, please. I promise I'm fine. It's probably just a cold, but like, please don't. <laughs> I know y'all mean well. It's just like, I don't like it. I'm gonna shift this down to here. And drag this to here. And this one. Oh, sorry. Then drag this back part to here. And that's how it should look. It's going to look weird, I promise. But trust me, this is right. I'm pretty sure, actually. Hold on, let me double check my reference. Because I, I want to make sure, because I know I'd mess this up somehow. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, I did it. Okay, I did do this right. Yeah. Wait, maybe I did not. Oh, wait, let me turn. Let me go, actually, out of this. Yeah, I did this right. Yeah. Yeah, I did this right. Let me able to check again. Yeah, okay, yeah, I did my right. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm making sure because I would be the one to mess that up on the very important part. I'm just double checking because I. Of course, I, I double guess myself on the one time I'm actually doing it right. I did it right last time. I just didn't, I just didn't question it. And then just rename all the five. Now you want to select all these. Go out of pixel, shifty up, shifty it out. And then just call this finger five control dot r. Copy this as name. I'm just gonna go into post mode for this part to make it a bit easier myself. Go back over to here. Control V, change this to one. Control V, change this to two. To two. <clears throat> Boom. Three. And four. Now, perfect. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to. we going to. Oh, jeez. Now, go over to here and hit limit location. <clears throat> So then just change this all to here, turn that on, make this local space, and then make this point 0.1. That way I can just do something off and you'll see why. Boom. Now just select all these. Oops. 
Look over to here. And select it. <laughs> Up here, shift like this one. Control Shift C, copy rotation. Five, five. There we go. And it is for all of them. Okay, hold up. I hit four again. To make sure I hit this one correct too. Make sure you hit five and not four. <coughs> it actually matters. Like, I know it's just like local space and local space parent. It actually does matter. Just gonna keep doing this all the way over. Boom, boom. Now, if I run, I rotate this. So make this turn this on, actually. So rotate this, rotates, 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 and rotates. Nope. <laughs> I have to on this one. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Boom, boom. And now I should rotate with it. And you want to tap this one? <coughs> Shifts like this one. Control Shift C. <coughs> Transformation. Five, five. <clears throat> and then make this one rotation. Make the X point oh five. The Z source change that to Y and make this nine. No, negative ninety. Make paste, paste, put that up here. Oh, I'm doing this wrong again because of course I am. But I swear it pastes up. I swear it goes up here. Well, that is how you do it. I, I did it right. Let's go. I'm not stupid. Yay. And now that we got that working, you want to do something even weirder, which is hit this one, shift like this one, and do this twice. For reasons you'll see in a second. <clears throat> Change this one to. 1 to 0.05 and this way I'm pretty sure that's right and this actually goes to positive 90 on here I'm pretty sure you can't really tell to get this one set up so you want to have some yeah from here to here it be negative 90 so you want it so that when it gets to here it's still negative 90 to do that I believe you have to do something like this and paste this down here and make this negative so now you've got something that looks like this and then i want to come fix this one <coughs> make this negative and then paste this up here make this positive actually i'm pretty sure i think it was backwards actually yeah this one point oh five yeah Negative again. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how. Oh, here, there it is. Yeah. Boom. Nope. I promise you, I, I, I do actually know this. I just don't know how I'm forgetting it. Get this one, actually. Just fix, get this one working first. I'm going to get like this, and then you want to duplicate it. But then make this one positive, and this number 0.1. Then I think you want to flip them around. Yeah, that's how you do it, just like that. And now that we've got that working, we wanted to just uh, select all these. Like how we just copy to selected. And then just go and change them all actually first of all since you don't need these, since you don't need these anymore you can just hit m move them to any empty bone there I'm just gonna move them to this bone there it's fine we don't need them anymore so now you can just go over to here and just uh quickly edit these constraints to say two now i'm not make them all say two but change them to the correct bone For those of you, I'm saying this now anyway, who think I'm just not doing the, the thumb right now because I'm, I'm doing something smart. No, it's just I keep forgetting to do the thumb, actually. It's not that I keep doing it, not just do it to be smart because I actually just genuinely forget it every, every single time. But it is different, so I guess it is smarter to do it this way. 
I'm just gonna make this one say two. I'm actually gonna copy this actually. Just paste that in there. Make this say three. This one say three. Make this one say four. Uh oh, jeez. Should I copy this and paste this down here? Yeah, now it should be working. We can make this. Boom. 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 And now I can just get this one. Transformation. This is going to be a bit different, so just trust me on this one. You have to put this one down to here, I'm pretty sure. And then it should work. Never remember the thumb constraints. It's always like so much worse and so hard to do. No, I actually. Oh, oh my, yeah. I think it was being right. Yeah, I just got put change that. Put the put it in the Z rotation. I can just do the same thing over here. Change this to finger five. Oh, not that one, not that one, not that one. This one. Control C. Control V. Control C. The backspace. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but I am, and I don't care. And I think this one's actually a bit backwards. I think you have to hold up. Yeah, you have to, I think, flip these numbers, like, negate them, basically, I'm pretty sure. And then it should be looking just like that. Perfection. There you go, that's about how that should be looking. Now onto the actual... Uh, doing this part part. Control P, empty groups. And search up finger. And now we can begin with the giving them the white paints. This is going to be a longer video than I would have liked, but hey, it's what you gotta do. Can we go over to edge selector? Hit Alt. And if that doesn't work, just select these three. Just just these three. Make sure your weight's on one. Select this and hit assign. Now you want to hit Alt, Alt, Boom. Okay. Alt for these two, and then just tap these top, and just tap that top one. Go to the finger two and hit assign. Next, you want to go to face select, tap here, back to edge select, tap here, then these bottom two. And now that's good. Next up is the second finger, which just do the same thing and make sure you only get the ones that you need. Any extra is not going to be doing any help, it's actually going to be hurting. So just Make sure you're doing this right. Dang it, I missed it again. It's hard to navigate in here, but hey, this is how you gotta do it. And like I say this every single time, if you know an easier way to do it or better way to do it, do it that way. This is just this is just my way of doing it. You don't have to do it my way if you know it a much better and easier way. If that makes any sense. You have to do one more thing with these bones, and then we'll be done with them. But next, until we get to that part, which is actually going to be right next, because I also just forgot it, because making Minecraft fingers is not actually easy. I, I actually do feel like some people would think that making these fingers is just a boom, quick, on and off thing. When no, it actually is a pretty difficult thing to do. And why I don't watch a lot of these, I don't like them. It's because they're hard to do and they don't make it better. They just, uh, yes, for those who don't know my stance, I don't like fingers in Minecraft. Never have, never will, but I will. I guess I just gotta go through and grab all of these just like this and then just 
last this is the last um, one up here this is the normal way uh, and then just do a bit like this nope and next is on to the thumb one which is actually rigged a bit it's still the same way but it just looks different because of where it is you want to hit just alt and then just get all that assign alt for this one then tap this one for finger two and assign that if you got a face looked boom boom go to here and then hit assign next for the sharp ends which will actually be a, a lot simpler than you might think it is at first actually i'm gonna say alt i'm gonna say it's alt g alt g and now if it works it's looking a bit like this Super bugged out. It should all be parented just like this. And now we gotta go down to here and then do 13 shape keys, I think. Also, you can just kind of copy this driver if you want to, then paste the driver down to here, edit the driver. Um, finger one. Oh my gosh, I drink just... Oh my gosh. And the second, whichever rotation, and just like that, if it's not working... Oh my gosh, that actually startled me. Make this thing minus. Oops, nope, nope. Just make the... Ah. Um, oh yeah. I'm just gonna do this part, then just go to this key. And then just make sure you have snapping on, pull it up to here, and pull this back part right here, GZ, and then just right there. Now you can just press off again. Next part, you're just going to copy this driver. Before we get any further in, I have to, you have to make sure of something. Because I've had this happen to me before where it just didn't work. So I have to make sure something's working. <clears throat> if it is, then I'll update. If it's not, basically. You have to rotate this time if it's working. And if this stays sharp, then it's working. If it does not stay sharp, then you need to stop. So many scam like this lately. But yeah. <gasps> I'm just going to pull this out to here. And then do the same thing with this one. But instead, grab this one and pull it out to here. And then this one just down. Gz. Just like Gz. And now, just if you pull this out, that's your bend working for this finger. Next up, you want to go over to here and hit limit rotation. Have the limit rotation second. I know people are going to be saying, make it first, make it first. Ignore them, please, I'm telling you. Make it first. Make it first, make it second, make it second. Just, just please trust me on this and you'll understand why. That's why if you want it to come to here and you want to hit it downward, it can't go past the, that 90 degree limit, no matter what. That way it can't go too far upward or too far downward. Like, if I put it, this is actually explain it. Like if I put it here, it can't go past that. But if I put this up front and top top like this, it can go past that, which is not good. If you want it to be after that, it just does that. And now you want to just I think over here because this way, like I said, can't go past what it's not supposed to go past. And then just do the same thing for all of these by just selecting them all. <clears throat> Then just hitting this. So you some you'll have to change though because like I said, it's it's backwards. Just delete that. Um oh. you now decided to not work. That's no, working, like see like it just doesn't it can't go past what it's not supposed to go past. That, that really is just the best way I can possibly say this. It can't go past 
I can't do. Like, I, I'm sorry if that's not a good enough explanation for you, but, like, that's the best one you're going to get from me. Next up, we have this one, which just... <laughs> just turn this on just so you can still see which ones you've done. Copy this driver, go down to this one, paste the driver, edit the driver, and just keep doing this all the way down until you've finished every single finger. People are going to be seeing this tutorial and be like, holy crap. Why is the tutorial so long? All the ones have been so short. And the reason is because fingers are not something easy to add. That that's the best way to say this actually. Because there's not there's not easy. Perfect. Come down to here. Copy this driver. Paste the driver. Edit the driver. Finger two. Or jump finger it is. And then just select this one. Close over to here. This. GZ. That is, uh, no idea. So, this is the problem here. This is what I say, like, be careful doing. This one does not need to have this one, I'm pretty sure. This one does not need to have this one. So, that, that should be fixed now. Because now if I do this, it goes away, and this one stays sharp. Like I said, can't go past, not too fast. I'm going to have to figure out a better way of saying that, actually, because, like, I'm realizing now that that's really just not helpful to anyone at all. Also, I will also be showing you how to get smooth bends on fingers if you want them after this. One second. I just want to keep pulling these things down to here. And then just, like, like I said... I'll be fixing the picture because I don't want this video to be too long. It's already insanely long, and I don't want it to be too long. Like, this is going to be, with me editing it down, probably a 30-minute tutorial video. And I don't like making tutorials that long. For the very, very good reason of, if it's that long, people won't like to watch it. And then it won't help people because people won't watch it because of it. It's so long. But... Then again, this is a very popular thing that not many people really can know how to do. And hey, also, I will be doing another animation soon. The reason that one took so long is because it just straight up would not render. That is the only reason why it took so long to get up there, because it just wouldn't render. If it, it could, if it could have rendered, I would have gotten up there like a little same day if it rendered. <clears throat> That's what I did. It rendered a little bit the exact same day. I have a long one coming up. <laughs> the problem is... I made, I made a longer animation, but I made it all in one file because I wanted to just keep it all in one file for some reason. So this one's going to take a lot longer to render. It's almost a minute long. In. Almost a minute long in the file. And I don't have a good computer for rendering. I don't have a good computer for animating. I don't have a good computer for what I do for YouTube. I literally use a laptop. I literally everything on a laptop, and so, uh, yeah. Now, to make sure it's working, just go ahead and do this. And that works. Works. And no, I, and no, I did not forget the, the thumb this time. I'm just making sure everything works. <clears throat> Except for the thumb. Yeah, actually, you can cut this one over if you want to, but I would not recommend it. But I'm going to try it, because I'll, we'll see if it works for me this one time. Edit the driver for finger five. Then make it, I think it's Z rotation. There it is. It's on one. Select this one. Pull this up to here. And then pull this one down here. Like I said, the texture will be in the next one, because I don't want to make this thing that long of a video. Oh, what do why? why this on this works boom seems to be working and i can pull this thing out to here perfect copy this one paste it here edit the driver say finger three checking the joint three and just grab this and then just pull this to here and then drag this one to 
see why. And boom. This is how you get that pointed finger. And if you don't want that, just because you don't want like you want real examination, you don't have it. Just don't do the constraints. And then take just don't do the constraints. And then change this one's information to say point one instead of that. And then you'll have this the thumb that examination uses, like examination and analog uses. And there we go. That's just about how that works. And <laughs> let's see if it works now when I do this. See that wrist? Now rotate it to make sure it's working. Make sure rotate this to make sure it all comes with it. It does. Turn it off, simplify. And then all R. Boom. Like I said, I can show you smooth enter the fingers. Put it back on just so it doesn't crash on me when I get this far in. I don't save in these videos just in case it, just in case it's not, I can't convert the file over, I can redo it. Get the smooth enter the fingers if you want to come over to here. <clears throat> Sector Alt, get this one. Alt, 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 increase down to zero. Alt-G, oh, sorry, which I wanted to do, just Alt-G them all. Alt, 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 and Alt. Now I turn this off, to make my crash, there's not. And now you have smooth bends on the fingers. I think, if you're going to use fingers and you want to use smooth bends, you got to do it like this, because hey, got to keep it for consistency. Consistency. If anyone gets that joke, please tell me. Because they've been out for a for a while. But yeah, this is how you add fingers to a Minecraft character rig in in Blender. In Blender at least. But if you did enjoy this video, which I hope you did, because this took me a lot longer than I'd like to admit to make, please subscribe. I'll do more animations and tutorials. I plan to finish this series this summer. So just like I say, tell me which one of them next, and most of my videos for the summer are probably going to be the tutorials because I want to get the tutorial series done this summer so everyone has knows what they need to know for the rigging series. <clears throat> Sorry for the rigging. And then, yeah. Okay, so I'm back, and I've done this too many times. i forgot forgotten something very important. It's the thumb cube. <laughs> so now I know that people might prefer the thumb cube to just go away when the thumb comes out. But in my opinion, it's actually less effective because that way you can't get in get into some poses where you have the thumb you know, rotate back to here and it's in like a clenched fist. So I'm gonna show you that way, and if you want the other way, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I honestly don't really know it. And then you gotta come to here and then select the thumb cube. Some reason for some reason mine always says it too come over extrude though I always accidentally have this on still. So yeah. Come down to the thirteenth one that we made, then drag this back, and there we go. Because I have this set up, we're gonna use it like this. So you wanna come down to this tab right here and go to new property. And fun fact, I actually forgot about this until I was asleep last night. <laughs> so you wanna make this it's as integer? The property thumb fill and just keep the default value as zero. And then you want to copy this thing's data path. Come down to here, hit add driver, make it say var, no property, armature, path, then paste that data path in there. And there we go, we have it all set up. So now whenever you flip this. Boom, and now it's gone. So I hope this does help people. I'm not sure if it will, honestly, but like, I hope it does, because it's because like this that's the reason I made it to help people. So I want to to help people. I know it does help some people. I know it doesn't really help a 